Hello, hi guys. Oh, I'll give a few minutes for other people to pop on. We are gonna talk about Hong Kong. Not just Hong Kong. We're gonna talk about other markets too. So, we will just take a second, because there is a delay. So anyway, I'm here in my backyard. It's in my water fountain. It brings me joy. Hi, Melinda. Hello. All right, guys. Here's the deal. I decided to do this on my personal wall because I just want to make sure that I reach everybody um, because this is so, so important. So, you know, Unique just announced that we're launching in Hong Kong. What? I did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. So, super exciting. Thrilled for that. Okay. So, the question always comes up, you know, how do you launch your business in a new country? Well, there are right ways to do it and there are wrong ways to do it. I'm going to wait just one second. Aw, thank you. You guys are so sweet. I'm going to give you, hi guys. Hello, hello. I'll give just another minute just for other people to pop on here. <sighs> yes, so this is a very important topic to me because um, nothing chaps my hide more than when I see people in direct sales, in network marketing, spamming. Drives me crazy. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll get started. And if you guys missed anything, then you can start it over and watch the replay. Okay, so let me tell you a little story. So Brie Richardson, Black Status Level 2, and I were in the UK and we did an Empower You training for Unique. And during the meeting, you know, we did a Q&A from the stage. And we were asked, how do you launch in international markets? At the very same time, without having spoken to each other about it before, we both said, you don't. <laughs> now let me clarify what I mean by that. What I mean by that is, you launch in a new country if you have a connection in a new country, okay? If you don't know anybody in Hong Kong, how are you gonna launch there? I know that some people think it's a good idea to spam. I'm gonna tell you right now, it never works. It never works. First of all, it's degrading to you. You are a business person. You need to conduct yourself accordingly. Spamming reeks of desperation. Don't just go throwing up pictures all over the internet trying to catch something, catch a fish, right? That's not going to work. That's not going to build your business and it's not going to give you longevity. I know I've seen a lot of people do it. It gives them a bad name. It gives their, their company that they're representing a bad name. And honestly, the people who do that, I really feel like they, they have no, um, they don't care about the brand that they're representing. They're just trying to make money. And that's what the customer sees. They see someone who's trying to make a quick buck. It's disgusting. Don't do that. It's not who you are. So <clears throat> we've talked a lot about, I mean, we're in network marketing. Build your network, okay? That's what you gotta do. You gotta build your network. You gotta expand your circles. Expand your community. And the best way to do that and it is not something that you can do overnight. It is something that is gonna take months and months and a year and two years. And the longer you do it, the better you get at it, the better your business will become. But here's what you do. You know, before you started your network marketing business, you were a person, remember that? <laughs> remember that person? That person had hobbies. That person had interests. Maybe it was cooking. Maybe it is uh, gardening. Maybe you have a fascination with waterfalls, which I kind of do, turns out. Mm -hmm. You like yoga. You like hiking. 
you like, um, I don't know, cactus, whatever, okay? Whatever it is that you enjoy, you need to get yourself into Facebook groups with other people who enjoy those things. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. When you get into those groups, I don't want you saying a word about your business. I don't want you telling anybody what you do for a living. Be a person. Make genuine connections. The goal is to get to the point where the friends that you make in those groups ask you, what do you do for a living? If you get to the point where someone else is asking you what you do for a living, you are 75% of the way there. Because when you tell them, <clears throat> oh, well, you know, and I learned this from Big Al, if you've been following along in our, um, in our book readings, we just finished our fourth Big Al book, and this is what I learned, Big Al taught me. Um, when somebody asks what you do, I say, well, you know how it's hard to make ends meet on one income being a stay-at-home mom? Well, I show women how to build a business from home. Hmm, yeah, thanks, Big Al. And it is a work in progress. I still have to practice that a little bit. But by that point, when I'm telling somebody that, you know what they're thinking? They're thinking, oh, she's in sales. Well, she never even tried to sell me anything. Well, she works from home. Well, I'd like to work from home. Huh. And they're going to ask me more questions. And when they ask the questions, their mind is wide open. They're paying attention because they asked. It's not me, you know, peppering them with, hi, hi, you want to buy something? Want to join my team? But no. Oh, God. Those kind of people would scare me. No. Don't be that way. So what you do is you get yourself into these groups of subjects that you enjoy. And the side benefit is that of that is it enhances your own life. Because, again, you're meeting people who love to do what you love to do. Or if you're gonna take um, if you're gonna take a summer vacation and you're going to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I'm sure there's a Fort Lauderdale group. You can find Fort Lauderdale moms and say, "Hey, I'm traveling down there. Do you guys have any um, recommendations?" Don't tell them what you do. Don't tell them what you do. You're just collecting friends, constantly collecting friends. Now. I spoke a couple of weeks ago on a Facebook Live. You can find it on YouTube. It's called sponsoring, Living the Sponsoring Lifestyle. There's um, super, super simple and super easy, even for those of you that are, that are really shy, a way that you can get 84 new contacts a month. Easy peasy. And again, you're not talking about what you do for a living. Cultivate friendships until they ask you, okay? So now, if, because I preached about these groups for a long time, if you've actually done what I've suggested and you've gotten yourself into these groups, and let's just say you've been in your yoga group now for several months, it is completely fine to pop in and say to the people who already know you, okay, hey guys, do any of you happen to know anybody in Hong Kong? I'm expanding my business into Hong Kong and I am looking for some motivated, hardworking women, men, hardworking women, whatever. And that's it, and you ask, and they have someone or they don't have anybody. But imagine this, one of these people who's now has known you for several months, you have not talked about what you, what you do for a living, says, hey, you know what, I have a girlfriend who lives there and um, I know she could use some extra money, I'll connect you. So she calls Hong Kong girlfriend and says, hey, Hong Kong girlfriend, I have a friend online who's expanding her business. I think this would really be something great for you. And she connects them. Well, Hong Kong girlfriend now already trusts you because you're friends with her friend. It's not some random thing that happened, right? So this is what you need to keep in mind. This is the kind of stuff you need to do. None of this spamming, because I'll tell you what, it chaps my hide because I work really hard to maintain my integrity and professionalism in this business. And I love this brand like no other. So when I see people spamming and giving my brand a bad name, my claws come out. 
So stop it. I know it's none of you. It's those other people, right? But listen, other people, I realize that a lot of times you're doing it because you just don't know what else to do. Well, don't do that. Do what I just said. And watch this over and over and over again if you need to. Take some notes, okay? But this is all about you being a person, not being salesy, not being spammy, because you don't like to do it, and nobody else likes for you to do it either. All right? <clears throat> so, anyway, let me go through here and just see. That's really all I had to say to you. Yes, I know. Hey, Hong Kong girl. <laughs> That's really all I had to say to you, but it was very important to me, and so um, I had to pop outside here real quick. I can't believe the kids have left me alone. Because I thought as soon as I as soon as I click on Facebook Live, usually then the whole familia comes out here. So anyway, all right, go ahead and if you have any questions, post questions below, um, and I'll be scrolling through all of the comments. But I hope that helps. And really, if you really think about it, and if you be patient, if you're just patient, think about how wonderful it would be if you had groups of friends in all these different aspects of your life, different, different interests that you have, how wonderful would that be? I mean, and it really, it doesn't feel like work. You're just being yourself, and eventually they're gonna ask you, so what do you do for a living? And you got them. Okay, guys, all right, thank you so much. Go enjoy your summer.